All right, well, a lot of fun changes coming to the channel today. I want to talk about them. Let's roll the intro and get into it. So guys, happy Sunday, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know that I will be moving here within the next eight to nine months. Uh, with that being said, I thought today would be a fun day to have an excuse to drive one of the Corvettes down to the new location down in North Carolina. We're very excited about it. So we're getting all the paperwork wrapped up right now to get this guy built. So we'll take the C5Z down today. I haven't did a video with it in quite some time. I haven't washed this car in like seven weeks and it's filthy. So I feel bad. We'll give it a quick wash real quick. We'll head on down there. Yeah, show you where the new Vet on Vets headquarters is going to be. Really, really exciting time. We got a busy year though, man. So I gotta get this house ready to sell. It's not too bad. We got a kid coming this summer and I still gotta keep this channel going. I still have to work my, my normal job. Yeah, move out of this house, move into the new house, but it'll be stressful, but in a fun way. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's do a fun little time lapse watching the C5 Z06 and we'll head on down there. I think it's been a full weekend paint correcting this guy again. It's been about three years since I did that. And the clear coat is starting to chip off the DIY. The paint's fine. I just gotta fix the clear coat. I'll worry about that when we come back to this guy. Oh, look who it is. You wanna say hi to the internet? Hi. Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi. I love your hair. Show me your hair. It's awesome. You did it yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Which one do you like better? Which car do you like better? That one. Why that one? Because it's bigger than that one? Yeah. That makes sense. I like that logic. All right, go play. See you later. Okay. Oh, and real quick, for those that follow the channel, I saw the pinstriping. Here's how it looks in the daylight. I'm liking it. Very minimalistic. Um, up close. It looks really good. This car is so hard to keep clean. Any Corvette I've owned, the rear end, after one drive, is just destroyed. It is what it is. And then someone was asking me how I finished the edges. Um, I took about an inch and cleaned underneath and just tucked it underneath. You can see that right there. That's all I did, nothing too crazy. And then in the mirrors right here, yes, it's two separate pieces. I just cut it about a half inch on both sides, tucked it in, and then with the heat gun, it ain't going nowhere. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the side skirt's growing on me. At first I wasn't sure, but after seeing it in sunlight, it's really, really good. All right, let me get situated and we'll go on down to North Carolina. All right, just about there. It's about 25 minutes from my house now to down here in North Carolina. We're off the main stretch now and we'll be pulling into the development here in about two seconds. All right, here we are, Waterlay, Moyoc. A lot of these are still being built. This is phase six. This is, we're in the very, very uh, tail end of the build here. They've been building these since 19, I believe, 300-ish houses. I love this house right here. A little out of our budget. That model right there is awesome inside. We're over yonder. Whole bunch of nothingness. It's pretty cool seeing this before our house is gonna go up. All these little posts right there are gonna be homes. Coming up to our streets. The second house after the little mailbox notch right here. Now we are not this one, but the next one. Then right here. Get out and show you a little bit. This would be a cool little thumbnail. That's car looks so good. All right, here we are, 205. Our 
sorry, 215 lot. Be our little water meter, I suppose. And then it's a little over half an acre lot. It's pretty big. Our house will probably start about right here, I imagine. And then garage will be on the left side, about right here. And all this is going to be a lake. They're dredging it right now. See over there? There's a lake. All that's going to come uh, all back here. Man, it's quite a bit. Showing the entire property line here. Now your money just goes so much further in uh, North Carolina. Yeah, here's where the lake's going to start right here. I get all this will be gone. So I'll be lake. It's quite a bit of property. Yes, yeah, so our property line ends right before this. It's about right here. <laughs> you see where the car is right there. Pretty cool. That's a lot of property. Probably about 50 yards wide, give or take. Eh, probably about 40 yards wide. It's pretty cool though. It's pretty crazy. This is going to be the new Bet on Vets studio. I'm not so much backyard. I don't know what to do with it. Ours is so tiny right now. But yeah, we kept coming back and forth between a water lot, meaning backing up to a pond or lake, or backing up to just a bunch of fields and nothingness. But that could in time become something else. And that was kind of the debate. Like, yeah, it'd be cool now, but in 10 years, that could be all apartments or something. Yeah, that's a fair point. I kind of wanted having just nothing behind us, but it's okay. A lake's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is going to be it, guys. And then there's going to be, I think, 20 homes from there all the way down to there. So, not too congested. You saw it coming in. The houses aren't too on top of each other. It's all relative to what you think is on top of each other or not. To me, that's not bad. If you live in California, that's a lot of room. And we could have got more rural, but I want my daughter to have neighbors too and friends to play with and stuff. No, I was here last week and I fell in the floor here. Good story. Yeah, there you go, guys. A new site of the house. Looking forward to it. Um, they start breaking ground here in a couple weeks. And then, yeah, once a month, I'll come down here to do a little updates. My realtor's like, don't go in the house. I, say, I won't. Unless she's with me, then we can. But yeah, it's exciting. It's scary, it's nerve wracking, but it's exciting, you know? Yeah, it'll be fun. And then as soon as this house goes up, the first thing, the first project is gonna be turning this garage into a studio, like the one I have at our house now. But this should be much easier because it's already done. I'll do a quick epoxy floor, almost the same design. Um, depends on new ownership of our house now, trying to keep the lighting and stuff. But if not, I'll take it with me. And uh, yeah, have it up and running pretty quick. Should be pretty fun. Well, that's all I got for today, boys and girls. Oh, and the splitter. I've almost had the splitter on for a year. I've uh, I've scraped a little, a little bit, but it's still intact. So it wasn't that expensive. In case you're curious, and, and the temperatures are not bad at all. It still stays on the interstate, especially below 200 degrees. The coolant that is. So cool. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in a few days. Um, I'll be doing the rear struts on this guy to fix the popping issue on these guys, and then. Um, sound system will be coming head unit will stay but a new amp um speakers all around sub in the back we'll do mids up front with the tweeters mids in the back and then a sub so just the sound system this car is so lacking it's 25 plus year old technology it is what it is here all right guys that's it for today see you guys next time mark out